In the previous video, we learned how to install the uppercase package into our project from the npm registry. In this video, let's learn how to use that package in our code. Now what you should know is that any package we install is basically a module in Node.js. Earlier in the series, we have seen how to import a local module and a built-in module. For a local module, const local module is equal to require dot slash path to module. For a built-in module, we've used const fs is equal to require node colon fs. Now let's see how to import a third party module, which is nothing but the package code we've installed in the previous video. Now the package name is upper hyphen case. If we head back to npm JS, we can see a section on usage. This however, uses the ES module syntax. Let's convert it into common JS. Back in VS code, const uppercase is equal to require uppercase. This however, imports everything that is exported from the package. We just need the uppercase function. So dot uppercase. Now within the console log statement, we can invoke uppercase passing in the string. We can now call the greet function passing in a name, Vishwas. In the terminal, if we run node index, we should see the expected output in uppercase. Hello Vishwas, welcome to Code Evolution. So we have successfully used a package installed from the NPM registry in our own project. Of course, our requirement was a simple one, to convert text to uppercase. But you can imagine a more complex requirement such as a need to deep clone an object in JavaScript. Instead of you having to write the code and test that code, you can rely on an NPM package. Lodash is a pretty popular JavaScript utility library. It exposes various functionality that you can readily use in your project. You can focus on the project requirement rather than building utility functions. But I hope it is clear to you now as to how we can install and use packages from the NPM registry. All right, in the next video, let's understand more about this dependencies field in package.json. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.